what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so we're gonna check out some breaking news from wrestlemania sonya deville arrested alberto del rio gets buried wwe confirms john cena at wrestlemania another wrestling news now i know this video dropped as of me filming this yesterday i didn't get a chance to check it out yesterday i was uh uh pretty much trying to get my phone fixed i cracked my phone so i ended up getting a new phone so i was at the apple store majority of the day trying to get that all sorted out so i wasn't at home but i definitely gotta check this out see what the hell's going on with sonya deville why did she get arrested i don't know so we're gonna see what's going on here appreciate all love and support let's get right into this man i'm i'm really concerned with sonya what's sonya doing to get arrested like that what is going on guys it is wrestlemania here now. back Sorry with some more that. news join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including Alberto Del Rio gets absolutely buried. Breaking news as WWE confirmed John Cena for WrestleMania 39. Sonya Deville was arrested. Is John Laurinaitis looking for work in AEW? Oh Can boy. Can he make a talk signing with WWE? Is Triple H splitting up a tag team? Jericho doubts he'll ever return to WWE. Solo Sokoa gets married. John Cena has a new look and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. And now let's do the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at WWE confirmed John Cena for WrestleMania 39. It makes sense. That's really exciting news as WWE have confirmed Cena for WrestleMania 39. Earlier today, WWE released the official WrestleMania poster and Cena is featured on the poster art. Cena is set to return to Raw Monday and it's expected that he will wrestle Austin Theory at WrestleMania. I'm the all official for it. poster looks really cool. What do you guys think of it? Let I'm us know in the it. comments down below. I am all Sonya for Deville it. was arrested. Now some more breaking news as Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful.com has tweeted the news that Sonya Deville was arrested in New Jersey. He tweeted, Fightful has learned Sonya Deville was arrested in New Jersey recently for having a firearm in our vehicle. Wow. She has a permit in Florida, but it wasn't valid in New Jersey. Oh. She's in the process of getting it thrown out and we're told she started carrying after the home invasion. Oh, now, As some damn. of you may know, Sonya Deville was being stalked and the stalker actually managed to get into her house. Sap also continued tweeting, sources indicate that Sonya was celebrating with her fiance and that the gun was in their vehicle as it was being validated. WWE sources indicated there was no heat on Sonya Deville as they understand why she would want to protect herself following the stalker home invasion situation. We're told that following that situation, Sonya actually got help from a judge in expediating a permit in Florida to protect herself. Wow, Alberto gets that's crazy, bro. That's insane. It's crazy how certain states they have different gun laws. So in New Jersey, I don't, I don't, I don't think they really uh, they allow that. Uh, especially up north like I don't think anyone can really have a gun let me know down below if you guys know the gun laws in New Jersey but I know in Florida and down here in Texas it's a, a little bit more lenient hell I don't even think in Texas you need a permit per se to carry so I'm not sure you know but I understand why she had it I mean you had a stalker and that broke into your house that would definitely make you want to, you know, be strapped up. You feel me? And, and, and to protect yourself. So, of course, um, I'm sure WWE is not going to trip off of that. And I'm sure they'll probably throw it out because she does have a permit. She just happened to be in a whole nother state. So, but nah, it's unfortunate that she even has to do that. Hey, y'all, there's nothing wrong with, you know, admiring these wrestlers and stuff like that and wanting to show support. But when you start trying to stalk them and, and get into their personal lives, that's a no-go so i do not condone that anybody that's on that type of time you need to get you need to seek some some professional help because that is not cool so uh, I'm, I'm sure everything will be fine it sucks she got arrested for that but you know i'd rather her get arrested because she had it on her than something bad happened because she didn't have it on her so it's absolutely buried Atop of today's news is a magma hot tweet from aw's maxwell jacob friedman concerning former wwe superstar alberta del rio the social media mayhem began after a fan tweeted a picture of MGF and a picture Del Rio asking readers to describe what was different about the pictures. The text oh. ended claiming they're the same picture. A fan tweeted back, except MJF isn't a racist. But things heated up with MGF firing back with this one. Except I'm not a racist, an abuser, a bad promo, a poser, a bitch, and oh, a drug addict, wow. and an overrated wrestler. Damn! The tweet from wrestling salt of the air seemed to come out of right field as MJF went hard on Del Rio. Oh, nah. It's unknown if <laughs> MJF. <laughs> 
he he does not he is a person that has no issues with letting you know how he feels especially on twitter so jeez there's any heat between the two wrestlers or this is a case of mjf playing his heel character 24 7 and going off when someone compares him to another wrestler damn what a burial though yeah, next nah, up kenny omega brutal. took signing <laughs> with wwe is Kenny Omega gonna sign with WWE? Well, that remains to be seen, but Omega recently chatted with Renee Paquette about what motivates him now when it comes to wrestling. The first thing that came into my mind wasn't a title, wasn't some kind of accolade. I feel like whatever I can contribute to wrestling, I wanna be able to help people in the next generation realize their potential as quick as possible or quicker than I was able to do. What he seems to wanna do now is guide the stars of tomorrow. If I can help give anyone advice or push them into a certain direction that can lead to something good for them career-wise down the road, that is where I like to see myself. The cleaner told Paquette he's established career goals in terms of titles and industry awards. I don't feel like I have too many goals or aspirations of my own anymore. It sounds like Omega is focusing on using his own star power and experience to help other wrestlers and that wherever he feels he can do this the greatest will be his home. Mm. While WWE and Omega have expressed interest in exploring a deal, it's unknown when the former AEW World Champion's AEW contract will be up. Although Omega's AEW contract reportedly expired at the end of January 2023, AEW is adding some or all of the time he was sidelined due to injuries roughly 9 months. This may work out for the best as the Young Bucks AEW deal is expected to wrap up at the end of 2023 and rumour has that Omega and the brothers Jackson could sign a deal together for wherever they decide to go or stay. Next up, Triple H. Now, here's the interesting question I want to ask you guys. Do you guys, would you guys want to see Kenny Omega in WWE? Let me know. Would that be something that you guys would be interested in? Let me know down below. Looking to split a long running tag team? Is Triple H looking to split up Alpha Academy? Well, that's the report making the rounds, but there's also talk that Chad Gable and Otis aren't gung-ho about the idea. WKRD Wrestling, which has been breaking stories of late, tweeted, There have been discussions of pushing Chad Gable as a more of a serious single star while moving Otis to maximum male models in a comedy role. Yeah, Gable and Otis are on like. the fence about splitting up due to their long-time close friendship. Otis and Gable have been friends for over a decade when they bonded while training for the Olympics. The tag team formed in late 2020, and while Otis's role was a drastic departure from his previous one as a happy-go-lucky goof, it helped build him back up after he got lost in the shuffle on Raw. Do you think Alpha Academy should split up, or do you like them in their current role? To be honest with you, and I, I'm, I'm just, just may, may uh, upset some people. I'm okay with them splitting. I, I would like to see Chad Gable in more of a serious role. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I think. He can be a good mid Carter. He can have some great matches. He can give you some great matches. Very athletic. Knows how to wrestle his ass off. I think I would be okay with that. Honestly, I don't. I me personally, I think their team is is cool. You know, as a you know a comedy, more of a comedy team. But honestly, I I'm I'm not really just buying into them as you know. Um, long time tag team champs or anything like that not to say that they can't be but i don't know man i i just even though the wwe does need some more tag teams uh on both sides of the roster i wouldn't have a problem if they did split. if they stayed that's fine but i wouldn't have a problem if they did split to give chad gable more of a serious uh uh run as a singles guy so let me know what y'all feel about that as well Next up, John Laurinaitis looking for work in AEW. Oh, Is a former brother. WWE exec People looking for power. work in AEW? Well, good old JR recently shared some news with his listeners on his Grillin' JR podcast, explaining how he and longtime enemy John Laurinaitis cleared the air. If you followed JR's podcast or heard him in interviews, you know he had legitimate heat with the wrestler turned WWE executive. Laurinaitis joined the WWE in 2001, eventually becoming Director of Talent Relations. In late 2022, Ross remembered his time working with Laurinaitis in WWE. I had a hard time as I went on with trusting Laurinaitis. That's sad to say. I hired him, I gave him a job when he needed it. I don't think he treated me quite right. He just wanted to show Vince that he was a better manager than JR and all those things. So now his ass is without a job and he deserves the goddamn misery that he's living. And I perceived that he's living and I didn't like how he treated me. Ross revealed how he was in a restaurant in Phoenix, Arizona when Laurinaitis approached him. 
The man in the black hat was expecting a confrontation, but instead, we had a nice conversation. I told him, I said, you know, I'm too old and I'm trying to overcome these issues of my skin cancer and all the subsequent treatment. I got more important things to worry about than having a grudge and living a grudge. Mm. So we kind of cleared the air and had a nice conversation. And I thought it took a lot of balls for him to come and approach me, to be honest with you. Because he had read everything I'd written about, you know, him being a chicken shit. The Hall of Famer said he apologized to Lauren. I fucking love JR. JR, you will always and forever be the, the voice of wrestling in a lot of people's hearts. You are a GOAT, a certified, undeniable GOAT that don't take shit and love you some, some, some barbecue. <laughs> and barbecue sauce. I love it, man. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Don't mess with JR, bro. Coronitis <laughs> for some of the things he said about him and that the two of them had a nice little 10 to 15 minute chat. That's JR cool. said that while the two are unlikely to exchange Christmas cards, of he course. admires the man for making the first move. Ross pondered on the idea that the former WWE exec might be seeking employment in AEW. He didn't tell me this, Laurenitis, but he may be looking for work. I don't know, I didn't ask him. His wife's been sick and she's surviving well, it seems like, and I like her a lot. Really nice lady. Moving forward, it was kind of cool, but it was a nice thing. Given that Laurenitis was released by WWE following the revelation he was involved in the WWE hush money scandal that surfaced Yeesh. last year, how likely is it that AEW would want to hire him? Nah. Laurenitis would bring plenty of baggage with him, but as fans know, wrestling doesn't make for unlikely partnerships when it comes to doing business. I Next up, Chris it. Jericho doubts he'll return to WWE. Or will Chris Jericho ever make his return to WWE? <clears throat> Although the AEW star recently signed a lengthy new deal with AEW, fans are curious whether the WWE's first ever undisputed champion will return to the company he spent decades working in. And Jericho answered this during a recent interview with the Daily Star, saying, I don't hold a torch for WWE. To me, that's not the place to be. AEW is the place to be. It really is. I've been in WWE. I know how it works. They work that way. I don't care if Vince is there, Hunter is there, or whoever's there. They have a way of doing things, and I was there for 20 years and was pretty good at it. Jericho detailed what got him interested in AEW and why he likes working there. I like the way we do things at AEW better, so I don't know why I wouldn't want to finish my career in AEW. I never thought that I wouldn't finish my career with WWE, but things happen. And I was just like, I want to go to Japan and do this match with New Japan Pro Wrestling. And it opened up a whole new world for me. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the fun side of wrestling again. AEW's first World Heavyweight Champion clarified that he has no hard feelings towards the WWE or those in charge. Business is business and there's always ups and downs but I have zero interest in ever going back to WWE. That's not out of bitterness or anger, I love Vince and I love Hunter and all the people there. During an interview with the star, the Wizard mm. said he's proud of himself for taking a chance on AEW despite so much uncertainty about the promotion's future. But if Jericho doesn't return to WWE, do you think he'll ever be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame? Let us know in the comments down. Honestly, I I do think he deserves to be he he deserves to be in the WWE Hall of Fame. Uh, I know people have the criticism of him now in AEW. Uh, I think he gets a little bit more free range in AEW than he did in WWE. But it's it's fucking Chris Jericho, bro. You gotta put him. You gotta put him in the WWE Hall of Fame. I don't know if they will, but I think he deserves to be there because the simple fact that the guy. Always found a way to reinvent himself <laughs> in WWE. He is, he's a lot of people's favorites. You know, a lot, uh, you know, a lot of people tend to, you know, look at the Holy Grail as Stone Cold, The Rock, The Undertakers, uh, the Hulk Hogan's of the world. And Chris Jericho tends to be on the list, but not high up on the list. In my opinion, he deserves to be up there with them, with the greats, because the dude, great on the promo, great in the ring. Always able to re, you know, revamp his character. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I do think he deserves to be in that upper tier echelon of some of the great wrestlers of all time. And honestly, I think he deserves to be in the WWE Hall of Fame at some point if it was to ever happen. That's just my personal opinion. Screw him being in AEW. A lot of his career <laughs> was it was you know heavily based in WWE. You know so. Below, next up, huge Naomi plans next. There's some interesting comments from the former WWE superstar Cameron, as Cameron was at a recent virtual signing when she revealed plans for WWE had her and fellow Funkadactyl Naomi after Cameron appeared at the 2022 Rumble. So I did the Royal Rumble and then two days after lost my dad. Damn. I called to come back to WWE to get the tag team titles with Naomi and then Thursday they were like, never mind girl, Naomi and I were talking about gear. 
Naomi and Sasha Banks will go on to win the Women's Tag Team Championship before walking out of WWE in May Damn. of last year over rumored Rest creative to differences. Her father. Damn. But things have been much different if she had won the tag titles with Cameron. Next up, Lita and Lynch enter the record books. A congrats to Lita and Becky Lynch on entering the record books thanks to their recent Women's Tag Team Championship win. According to Wrestling Stats and Info, Lita became the second WWE Hall of Famer to win a WWE Tag Team Championship. The first was Rowdy Roddy Piper, who won the mm. tag titles with Ric Flair in 2006. As a Twitter account also noted, this means that Becky Lynch joins Ric Flair as the only superstars to hold WWE Tag Team Gold with an already inducted Hall of Famer as their partner. Mm. Congrats to both superstars on their championship win and entering the record books. Next up, I'm so also trying to figure out what does that do, what does that mean for the... I'm gonna be honest with you. The tag, the women's tag team belt. I, I don't think Triple H should have bought them back, bro. I'm just be honest. You could have had. Uh, I just I, I don't think he should have bought them back, because they're not really doing nothing with them. Now you got Lita with them. And that's cool. What they gonna feud with Damage Control again? Then what else? Like I I, what else are they gonna do? Make some makeshift teams from the women division? I don't know. I don't know. I just I just don't think the division is big enough for them to even have that. Unless you defended it on all three brands, SmackDown, Raw, and NXT. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. I think he should have just not brought them back because they haven't been much of anything worth talking about except on damage control. So, I guess. Ola Sokoa gets married. And we're happy to report that Solo Soko recently married, sharing pictures on his Instagram account. Hey, man. We send our best wishes to the newlyweds. That's awesome, And finally, bro. John Cena's new look. And last but not least, make way for a new look from John Cena. The 16-time champion is currently <laughs> playing the role in Season 2 of Kevin Hart's Die Harder series on Roku. Cena's role has been portraying stuntman Mr. 206, who sports long pink hair. Now, this isn't the first time Cena's play <laughs> dress up as well. All photos from his role in the recent upcoming film <laughs> Ricky Stanicky, where Cena was done up in drag. What do you think of Cena's <laughs> new look? Let us know. Giant, bro. I love John Cena, man. <laughs> Mr. You Can't See Me, man. <laughs> but yeah, man, this was a, a, a crazy video. Once again, it, it sucks that Sonya Deville had to get arrested because she has to protect herself because there's weirdos and creeps out there, you know. And once again, I, I am all for women and men, you know, protecting themselves with weapons if they need to, because people are crazy out here. And I, I'm going to say this to anybody. Hey, even take this out of the context of wrestling. Don't stalk anybody, bro. Just just chill. Don't do that. That's weird. Men and women, don't do that. Just chill. Get some help if you need to. Like It's, it's not cool. So comment down below. Let me know, man. How do you guys feel about Jericho maybe one day being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame? Do you think it should happen even though he's uh, in AEW? Or do you think, you know, it shouldn't happen? Or are you in agreement uh, if Vince was to never uh, put him in the WWE Hall of Fame? Or do you think Vince should, you know, Vince or, you know, Triple H, whoever <laughs> has control over, you know, who gets to put into the WWE Hall of Fame? Let me know down below. Or does it even matter, you know, because, you know, they have a celebrity wing where they just be putting random motherfuckers in there so does it even matter in the grand scheme of things but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 150k and i am still the undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world and of course in the cuts world every ah, i can't even say it god damn it i fucked up the outro i'm a two-belt champion you, you know what it is i'll catch y'all next time